what uh, the timing and the the intensity of uh, or the passion with which uh, executive di director david beasley uh, attacked us uh, raises so many questions executive director beasley had never uttered a word not even a single word when four months ago after the cessation of hostilities agreement afar militia forces probably at the behest of abi ahmed attacked deeply fp tracks destined for tigray and ransacked WFP cargo in a manner that would shock the conscience of any sane people, let alone the executive director of WFP itself. He didn't say a word. He didn't say anything. Uh, if stealing was something we would, uh, we had pro proclivities for, we would have stolen WFP resources in Kombolcha when we assigned a division to protect WFP warehouses. There was, despite a clear and realistic possibility of people, starving people in, in that part of Amhara uh, to ransack WFP warehouses. Even fighters whose parents were not able to feed themselves in Tigray because Abiy Ahmed imposed a siege took upon themselves to protect warehouses that belonged to WFP and CRS. An outrageous accusation was leveled against us when Abiy was attacking our positions, was launching an offensive and defending our positions, simply speaks volumes about uh, where uh, these people's loyalties are. So they, it took the attention away, not from the invasion that was being visited upon us, not away from the offensive that was launched against our forces, it put the attention squarely on something that should not have merited any media attention in the first place, because it could have been resolved with close uh, discussion with uh, WFP officials here and uh, Tigray Trade Industry Bureau officials here. But they chose to blame the victim for uh, spurious reasons. And it doesn't look good when uh, the executive director of a very celebrated humanitarian organiza organization uh, to try and take uh, side on a, a very sensitive political issue that has far-reaching far, far ramifications.